Facebook has taken a drubbing from Wall Street and the media. This graph shows what happened to Facebook's stock price in the weeks after the initial public offering, about a 30% drop. The big knock on Facebook is that critics doubt the company's advertising strategy will work. Everything about Facebook is big. Big numbers, 900 million users worldwide. Big box office, no an Academy Award-winning movie about the creation of Facebook. Did I adequately answer your condescending question? Big news, a much-anticipated initial public offering raising $16 billion. Big losses, stock that has dropped significantly since the IPO. Big question, where does Facebook go from here? How does the social network take financial advantage of 900 million users? Adam Kreitman runs a company called Words That Click, which advises companies about their online marketing campaigns. Most companies sell products or services that help people solve problems. But when you have a, a entity like Facebook where people are going there to actually avoid their problems, that makes it challenging for marketing companies or for companies to market effectively. Facebook depends on ad revenue. But according to a survey of 1,000 people this week by Reuters, four out of five Facebook users have never bought a product because of advertising or comments on the website. You're going to have trouble selling things directly to people through an ad on Facebook. But you can engage with them there and start the conversation. And if you do that and then get them to your website or get them on an email list, then down the road, you're going to have better success marketing to them. Now, Kreitman points out that the Reuters survey indicates 20% of Facebook users do buy products they see on the website, and 20% of 900 million users is a sizable audience. Now, whether Facebook can take advantage of its global brand and customer base approaching a billion people will be fascinating to watch.